keep it secret, to different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're going to be talking about the best defensive badges on NBA 2K23 current and next gen. Yes, you heard that correctly. Current and next gen badges are the same and they have the same effects, okay? So, but before we get into the video, just make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Obviously, liking up the video will push the video to the recommended and subscribing will just put you on note again, man. You'll be able to get all the notifications of my daily double uploads and i'll be greatly appreciated right but without further ado let's get into this video so um again th there's multiple ways you can look at this because obviously when you're talking about what tier of badges it also depends on what position you are okay so what i'm going to do is just try to put badges that are going to be in a certain tier based upon a center and a guard right so we're going to let you know what's good if, if this is a center badge or a guard badge or if this is for both a center and a guard and i say a guard i mean in lockdown right now obviously you can be a two-way player you know uh and and need to have a couple defensive badges and again those will be the badges that we'll talk about but um without further ado let's just hop straight into the video and um let's just start from the top right so we're gonna look at ankle breakers okay now ankle breakers for last year was an extremely extremely important badge to have now this year it has changed a little bit okay and when i say it's changed a little bit it's a tier one badge right when it comes to actual every single time you make a lockdown build it's always in a tier one section right so it's literally if you want to get hall of fame anchor breakers you can have them on four me personally i run lockdown all the time and i do not get ankle broke i don't get i barely get broken right now if someone gets takeover that's a different story but when we're talking about as far as just natural gameplay i don't get that so the reason i and, and again this is all just based upon my experience as a lockdown i feel like this is going to be a beer a b tier badge this year i don't think it's something that you have to have equipped because again like i said it you rarely get the ankle break on um, breaking animations and a lot of people are isolating okay now i don't know if that's because a lot of guards just don't have the ankle breaker badge um i know killer combos is a an, again it's a tier three badge it requires a lot uh points to get it on gold so maybe that's the reason so right now as far as season one goes i just don't see ankle anybody needing to invest a lot in that meaning if you want to get just like if you have a couple um badge points left over and you want to throw this on bronze and silver go ahead but i don't think that's something that you want to heavily invest in okay now box out again box out for the longest time has been a very important badge and this year i would say it's also a really good badge to have like you definitely if you're down low and you're caught without this badge it's going to be issued but again it's not something that's like yo you gotta have this this is a must have again this is something that you can just throw bronze on silver on and be gucci but if you have enough to get it on hall of fame get it on hall of fame this right here will fluctuate between a tier one and a tier two badge so in my humble opinion i feel like this is definitely an a tier badge you don't want to be caught without it okay um now we're talking about brick wall brick wall this year is really dope because now you get animations to where you can knock somebody straight on the ground right now that's something fun just like getting an anchor breaker but it's not something that you're going to get all the time and the question is is it worth that many attribute points this is for a, a big is going to be a tier three badge now let's be honest there's other tier three badges down there that we're going to talk about that are definitely must-haves and until you core right those other tier three badges me personally i have a center that have 30 something badge points i have not cored my other two tier three badges so i don't even have brick wall yet on my build because i just know that there's other there's two other badges that are very very important to have but again i know some people that do have this on gold and hall of fame and they're knocking people straight on the ground but i myself personally i see that this is a really good badge to have but it's not something that's going to be a tier a s tier badge so i'm actually going to throw this in a tier okay now challenger okay now me being a lock challenger is supposed to help you with getting contest on the perimeter right i had this badge on hall of fame now i want anybody in the comment section to let me know how you feel about this but i had this badge on hall of fame 
and I could not tell no dang on difference. I'm talking about I would intentionally run and jump. I was trying to see if the contest was different. So again, this is just me playing, and everybody that watched my videos know this is what I do. I play lockdown. I play lockdown for the Coinbase tournaments. I play lockdown in Pro Am. I play lockdown reg. I play lockdown everywhere you go. Like I feel like I'm a really good lockdown, and I don't even have Challenger equipped anymore, right? But maybe it's something I'm missing personally, okay? But I have tried this bit, this badge on any every level. I've jumped at shots. I have not seen anything that made me think that this is just going to help. So. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to give 2K the benefit of the doubt and just say, I'm not sure about this badge yet. Like, I still don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this badge. Does it work for you? And what have you seen with it? Because me personally, I have not seen anything differently, okay? Um, now we're going to go to Chase Down, okay? So, Chase Down to me is an extremely important badge this year and also because dunking is so much easier which i think i agree 100 percent dunking should be easier this year so with chase down now being important along with giving you opportunities to get extra blocks if you can get this badge and most of the time it's a tier two badge so so it does cost a little bit more but in my humble opinion this year chase down artist is very important you want to get this as high as you possibly can if you can't get this as high as you possibly can um, if you don't have it at all, you're, you're, you definitely need to have it on bronze for animation. But you can tell the difference if you have it on Hall of Fame. And I feel I get more chase down blocks the higher it is. So me personally, as a lockdown, you want to try to get this as high as you possibly can. So get chase down as high as you can. Right now, with all my badges, I'm waiting to get my other badges cored. My tier 3 badges cored. Um, so close to getting glove cored. Um, once I get that cored, I will be able to get my chase down on Hall of Fame. All right? um, clamps. Now, do we really have to explain clamps, man? Like Obviously, we all know clamps this year is just old. D, especially if a guard does not have clamp breaker like me with my 99 perimeter defense um, my lockdown does have some strength and it has like a 74 strength um, I can just tell the difference I get extremely bumpy I don't even have to stay long on this we already know that's an S tier badge same thing for glove everybody and a mama right knows if you see a lockdown with Hall of Fame glove you got it puts fear in your heart and I, and I love this everybody's talking about nerf steals you tripping lockdowns need to have a place in this game if you nerf steals and lockdowns are not respected and if you have um gold or silver unpluckable and i have hall of fame glove yes i should be ripping the ball 20 30 percent of the time you dang gonna skip you i should right like that's just how it is right if y'all guards can sit there and have agent threes and be fading like it's just like a real like like if if y'all think fading from the elbow in the corner hitting at a like 90 percent clip is realistic but yet a lockdown with 99 steel and hall of fame glove can't get 20 to 30 like out of 10 possessions, I can't get two steals. Out of 10 possessions, I can't get three steals. Then, like, you're delusional, okay? And that's you're thinking about yourself and you're being selfish. And you're not thinking about the balance of the community. But if I being long winded, we know that's the S tier badge, right? Oh my God. Interceptor. This might be the most frustrating badge I have. I've had this again. I had this on Hall of Fame and I've had it on Gold, Silver, Bronze. And again, I have not seen a difference. And I think a lot of people, I think this might have to do with the fact that. Um, passing lanes are just 100% just been a lot uh, really nerfed um, it's not the same as it was last year um, and again if it's going to continue to stay like this I don't listen just put it on a bronze tier and it's called a day I put it on a B tier because I just don't think it's just a badge that's that important all right um, because you you didn't you don't see a difference between Hall of Fame and bronze okay um, menace now we're gonna talk about menace now menace again just like it was last year it helps with the perimeter defense and dropping your badges um, I think it's a good badge, but I don't think it's a badge that is, again, this is something you can sprinkle on. For me, as a lockdown, it's a tier two badge, and I think I have it on bronze. Um, and even then, I take it off a lot because I, I feel like there's other badges that are more important. So again, I'm just going to put that at the B tier. Off-ball pest, same thing. I just don't feel like there's a really a good place for this badge. I don't see anything to what makes it where you need to have this badge on, especially when you're so limited. This is always a tier one badge, so if you want to try it on bronze, go ahead. But I think this other badge is more important, so I'm gonna leave that there. Pick Dodger. The cool thing about Pick Dodger is I feel like it's the same effect that it's always been. It does give you some really bad animations, and you know the animation I'm talking about. We do like a 360 spin when you get hit by. Um, it looks cool, but it puts you out of position every time. And to me, I just feel like that's frustrating. Um, I always still have to get equipped because I'd rather have some type of like slickness. But it is definitely dropping down to an A tier badge. But you definitely, as a lockdown. Um, want to at least have that on gold, okay? So you have to always put three badge points on this, in my opinion. Um, and then Pogo Stick. Pogo Stick is a good badge this year, um, but with the adrenaline bars and everything else associated with it, there is a benefit by having this on Hall of Fame. But again, like it's a tier three badge for a center, 
and we all know rebound chaser and anchor is going to eat up 18 to 16 points and a lot of people don't have a lot of um bash points left to even get pogo stick but it's good trust me it's good with the initial jump two jumps afterwards but it's so many badge points it's a tier three badge so until you get your rebound chaser and anchor cord guess what you're not going to be even having it equipped for a very long time anyway but it's still a good badge so i'm gonna put that in the a tier once you get a cord you definitely want to try to get this on gold okay um post lockdown how many people are really posting up i mean there's nothing really explained about that it's a good badge but unless you're playing on 1v1 it doesn't really have any place for anybody on this game um rebound chaser do we really need to explain this rebound chaser is always going to be um an s tier badge not only does it give you a higher um it gives you better animations for the rebound but you get like when i say animation man like, you don't tip the ball to yourself or tip it out of bounds you catch it um it just helps you become more sticky like you kind of move towards the ball the ball kind of comes to you like magnets so i think that's really good workhorse is a new badge this year yes i feel like it's a really good badge i feel like it's a badge that i personally have on gold it does help with getting loose balls i feel like it also helps when it comes to steals and getting to that ball and not having a teammate um the opposing um ball handler get it back so quickly um i do feel like it's worth every single tier to get it i mean um, bass point to get it to where it needs to be so i would definitely put that on the a tier bat a tier level and of course anchor jesus man this badge is so good all right so you want to get this as high as you possibly can on my lockdown i'm a six seven lock i have it on silver i'm working on another lock so i can have this on gold if you're um a center you definitely want to try to get 99 block because i feel like this helps get a 90 interior defense max out your block and this helps a lot with um, hands up defense obviously that's interior it's the interior on um, rating affects that but anchor is the jumper and if you're a jumper like me and you like to jump a lot anchor is where it's going to be anchor no doubt about it is going to be a s tier badge okay so there you have it my nephews and nieces let me know in the comment section what you think about this my tier setup if you think there's something that's different that needs to be changed but um other than that this is your favorite old head uncle timmy i'll be back really really soon with the banger you know when i say I'll be back soon with the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out